good afternoon, good evening, and good morning, wherever you are and whenever you are. Thanks again for joining us for Giant Dragon's video. Today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different, and that's dealing with roles, particularly skill roles like perception or knowledge. The problem with these roles is that you often have to depend upon your player's role-playing ability. And sometimes it's not easy even for them. I've had players after they made the role and failed, wonder later, did their character act appropriately? Would they have acted that way knowing the character lied to them or not knowing the character lied to them? And not everyone's going to play it that way. And so how do you handle this? Well, for one, don't tell them what the difficulty is. Uh, you know, they might think they got it just because they rolled an 18 on it. 1d20, but that doesn't always work. Um, so there were a few suggestions made. I know Question Beast brought this up, and he had a really good suggestion that he'd gotten from a user on Reddit, saying, have the player pick up three different colored d20s and roll those, and you don't tell them what color it is that uh, you're going to be going off of. And they still would kind of get an idea, you know, how high their roll was and they'd be pretty sure about whether they succeeded or failed. My problem with this again is that, uh, you know, it maybe it's giving them a little bit too much foreshadowing. Maybe you want to keep them more in the dark as to whether they're successful or failed. I know, you know, people say, yeah, but in real life, you're pretty sure when you recall a factor, you're pretty sure whether someone's lying to you or not. Sometimes you're absolutely clueless. So to get around this, what I was thinking is that uh, I'm not going to have them roll multiple d20s. Especially when you start coming in the idea of uh, advantage or disadvantage. <laughs> what are you going to do? Have them roll four, six dice at a time? A uh, little bit of a mess there. So what I've come up with is to roll one d20, not tell the players the difficulty and play around with the difficulty a little bit. Here's the concept. Let's say I have a difficulty check 15 on a knowledge check. Okay, so the player has a plus 3 to that particular knowledge. That means they're going to have to roll somewhere between a 12 and a 20. So, instead of having them roll 12 to 20, I know that their spread is now 8. So I'm going to write down my sheet of paper uh, let's say 2 to 10. So if they roll anywhere between 2 and a 10, they're going to succeed. I'm not going to tell them this. If they roll a 1 or a, you know, 11 through 20, they're actually going to fail. Well, bear with me. Uh, the other part of that is I would consider a 10 a natural 20. It doesn't change the spread at all. It shouldn't change the odds at all, unless they're using some sort of die that likes to roll high. Um, and before I do this, I would set the expectation in discussions before the game starts with the players, hey, when we make these kinds of rolls, here's what I'm going to do, and I'd give them an example. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to do it on every roll. I probably will just to stay with it. Um, but what it does is it always lets the players know in the back of the head that their character knows what their character knows, and no more. Uh, so I, I want to try that, and I think it will work. Uh, you know, the bonus is still being taken into consideration because we have that same spread. Um, you know, even if they roll, uh, you know, close to a 20 and they have a plus 8, they're still going to succeed. But that plus 8, I know that they have at least a spread of 8, uh, depending wherever they had before. So, if they have a plus 8 and the DC is 15, I know that all they have to roll is 7, that means they've got a you know, spread of 13. So I'm going to make that spread there and also move the chance number. Again, since you know, you're know you rolling a 1d20, on average you've got a 5% chance to land on any side. 
it really isn't going to change the uh, math behind it at all. So I'm curious to see what people think about this. If you've seen it before, if you tried it before, or how you might have dealt with you know, not letting the player know more than their character. Go ahead and get back to me in the comments here. Share the video if you want to. Like it if you want. And until next time, happy gaming.